it's my first sit, um, solo sit in like years, and uh, I'm also sitting on some public ground. Public ground, I have 100 public ground, and man, I, 20 years probably since I was a teenager with my brother. Um, but we are on some public ground in Texas, which is kind of rare, and uh, there's some great deer here, like great deer. And we put in some time, a little bit of work, so we're gonna see if we can get it done. There's like, I don't know, there's a new mature buck shows up here every day, it seems like. Um, we got a little cell camera out, so that way I don't have to be in here all the time. Um, I was lucky the deer had been in here like all day, every day, all day, every day. So um, it's very hard to get in here when there's not deer here, um, which is good and bad. It's good because they're always wanting to be here, but it's bad because it makes it super hard to get in here and not spook something. Luckily, there was a couple, there was a little buck and a doe here about 20 minutes before I got here and they, the little buck was chasing the doe so they kind of took off so luckily they weren't here when I walked in so I didn't spook anything. Um, you can bait here so I put some more, a uh, little bit of corn, this little mix thing that I put together to put a little bit more out. So. We're gonna see, man, with any luck, we'll get one of these, but we've had them showing up, the mature deer showing up off and on during the daylight. So if I can get one of these deer to show up, man, there's a chance we could bust one. So anyway, we'll see. But it's fun, man. The public land stuff is so fun to me because it's just, you know, it's not like at a ranch where you know what's there and all that stuff. You know, here, there's no telling. There's like there's no telling what could walk up and we got new deer every day, so. Uh, it's just a new level of excitement, man. That's like just refueled my fire to want to do this stuff. You know, I'm so lucky because my wife and my kiddos love to hunt too. Um, you know, but luckily my wife uh, is at home with the kiddos and uh, taking care of some stuff there, and allows me to come out here and go hunt. And man, that means the world to me because she knows how important it is to me. Um, you know, hopefully here pretty soon I can get us all out here. But uh, anyway. We'll sit tight, see what happens, see if we get lucky, because I need some lucky. just shot one of the big deer. I sure hope so. I don't know what the shot looked like, but we'll see. I got one over here blowing at us like crazy. All right, <clears throat> so I made it back to the truck. Um, I didn't see the shot and it was dark enough that I couldn't really see it on film either. So um, I, I backed out. I'm pretty sure that deer's dead. Uh, the shot felt super good. He was like 22 yards. So it's not like it was a long shot. I was real still. So um, I'm gonna come back in the morning and get that deer as long as he's, as he's expired like I think he is. Uh, so I shot him. I found the arrow, good blood on the arrow. Um, you know how lucky do we get man you know going there first solo set in a long time on public land in texas and i shot a great deer uh, you'll be able to see on the footage i hope because um, it's pretty dark man he was coming in right there at last light so uh great deer though i'm super pumped and he's an old deer i've had him on camera he's probably the oldest deer that i have 
uh, on camera so far. Not the biggest. There's definitely bigger deer, um, but he's the oldest deer, which is cool, man. And that's that's really my goal. Uh, you know, even on public land. I mean, I know really on public land, it's hard not to kind of be an opportunist and just shoot whatever you have available. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, I still want to make sure that I'm doing my part. Uh, and, and taking the oldest deer that I can. So it just lucked out. It, it worked out so good that that deer happened to be the oldest deer that I got. Um, neat buck, man, real wide, uh, old buck. He had something messed up with his jaw too. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just a neat neat experience, man. Public land, it's, it's super fun. I mean, I, I've had a whole new, uh, like I say, my fire's been rekindled hunting public land again and I haven't done it in years and years and years you know and uh, it's been so much fun and that was a blast and it was just a neat experience so now it's time to get my brother and my sons and my wife and everybody out uh, hunting um, see if we can get them one on public land which will be awesome stay tuned <laughs> I always get on to people for saying that because I think it's so dumb but anyway to be continued tomorrow morning we'll get this buck Well, it is the morning after. Not that kind of morning after. The morning after I shot the deer. Um, and as promised, I am here early listening to the Shooter FM morning show and enjoying a Sonic Burrito before I take my redneck engineered stroller. That's right, it's a baby stroller that I am going to rig as a deer cart or try to use it as a deer cart. Man, this light is terrible. Anyway try to rig it as a deer cart um, and go get this buck with any luck the coyotes haven't mauled him I have a feeling because there is so many coyotes the coyotes could have got him um, hopefully not man hopefully not uh, but anyway uh, I'm gonna scarf down the rest of this burrito and drink a little sweet tea I know it's like the breakfast of champions man I have the worst diet in the world and then I'm gonna take my stroller and I'm gonna roll in there and I'm gonna load up this deer and get him out and then uh, we'll see what happens so hopefully he didn't go far hopefully the coyotes didn't get him and hopefully the stroller works awesome a lot of hope going on right now <laughs> a lot of hope oh man that's official y'all are riding along and the deer stroller 3000 and why you say 3000 well because if i just called it a deer stroller it sounds stupid but when you put 3000 on it it sounds badass people be like damn i need one of those it's a 3000 exactly anyway check this dude out it's really sweet hang on bam yeah i know take it in we're gonna slide a deer up on there. Hopefully, if he didn't all eat up, it even comes equipped with junk bin ratchet straps. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Definitely worthy of the three thousand. Anyway, just figured I would share that awesome piece of greatness with y'all. See, the thing is, man, if you want to go hunting bad enough, you can do it. You don't have to have. Let me get it out of the the 3000 here real quick and just talk to you for a second Whoop, sorry you don't have to have $200 deer cart and the latest and greatest bow and all that stuff you don't have to do all that now do those things make it nice absolutely but if you want to go deer hunting you want to do it bad enough you can figure out a way to make it work like I said I'm using an old ass stroller because we got 29 kids so we have plenty laying around. And uh, you know the heck the bow I was shooting last night. I'm hunting on the ground and it's a 37 inch axle to axle bow. It's one of my old, it's an old bow that I just kind of pieced together. It's really kind of a target bow. But it shoots so good, tunes so good, and it's still pretty fast. So I like to hunt with it. Cause it just, it tunes so well, man. I can shoot any broadhead, anything out of it. It just works good, you know? So um, I love shooting it especially for hunting just because it's so forgiving man so if if i'm not you know perfect and i make a bobble man it still 
arrow still finds its mark you can't beat that so anyway you know total investment here i got 20 dollars worth of corn out i've got you know three or four days worth of scouting and some time and got an old baby stroller and some bargain uh bin junk pile ratchet straps and you know you can go out and be successful it don't require a whole lot of craziness i mean it requires some crazy because i'm a mile and a half in here uh, but um you can be successful on public land you don't have to spend a lot of money on a lease or an outfitter you can go get it done you can still shoot good deer it just requires more effort a little more effort is all hopefully we'll get to the deer soon jamming with the stroller see you on a minute all right so that buck was standing right here last night when i shot him um and then he rolled through that stuff right there like he kind of took off and crashed and rolled through there and then he kind of ran back ran back that way sort of um i looked last night and didn't see a lot of blood um doesn't mean that he isn't hit well just maybe in that pocket right in the armpit sometimes that can keep him from from bleeding a lot but um shot a big broadhead and felt like it was a great shot and i mean it rolled him there right off the bat so hopefully he didn't go far so let's go look and see we'll see if we can find some blood and if we don't find any blood then i'm just going to kind of go to the last place that i saw him and see if we can go from there but let's see let's see what happens so he crashed he crashed through here last night like this is kind of where he rolled and then he he took off through that tree i found my arrow right here last night and then he kind of went that way so let's i'm gonna go over here and see see if we see any blood because he went kind of around this way i don't know he uh he ran through here i know he ran through here the leaves are kind of disturbed, but that's it. I don't see, I don't see any blood yet, but I know, I know he was on this. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. There's some blood right there. Some blood there. So let's see. Here's some blood, blood. Where'd you go, guy? Did you go through here? Where'd you go that way? I don't know, but we're on some blood though. And it's good blood, it's real bright. Even, even being, um, here's some more blood. Even being, you know, 12 hours old, a little older than that actually. Um, so he's he's bleeding still. Still got some blood. It's not much though. And I'm shooting almost a two-inch broadhead. It's like an inch and seven-eighths broadhead. Not, not much blood though. It's a little, kind of sparse. I see deer. I see deer right there. Bang. He didn't go anywhere. That deer went 45, 50 yards maybe? 50 yards from where he was shot. <laughs> Here's another funny part. So normally people that know me, I use the best, the best, the best, the best, everything normally. So you know, I'm a huge Valkyrie broadhead person. Um, I use the titanium center pin ones. You know, they're $125 for three of them. Just, a, it's a tough, really good, reliable broadhead, man. It's not like it does anything magical. It has insane penetration. So I generally always have two holes on the deer. But so this year I've been, I just thought, man, I, I want to do something different. I want to do something that relates to like 90% of the bow hunters out there. Um, 
you know, we're all on a budget. You know, hell, I got seven kids, man. I'm on a budget. I know what it's like. So I was like, man, I'm going to get stuff that everybody can go get, and I want to see what we can do with it. You know what I mean? And so I brought some, I was in Atwoods one day looking for some stuff for one of my dogs, and I went over to the sporting goods part just because I always do. And I bought, uh, they had some broadheads there that were, said they were for crossbows but it was 125 grain solid stainless and it's a night fury from blood sport it's a sweet looking mechanical i never shoot mechanicals so i bought them they were 25 bucks and it was a solid stainless ferrule like it was a badass broadhead so i bought them and i was like i'm gonna go kill something i'm gonna hunt only public land this year and we're gonna go be successful doing it and i'm using a 13 12 year old bow that I've kind of pieced together like it doesn't have the original limbs or cams I've changed that stuff um, but it's all old stuff you know and uh, hell it's 37 inches got an 8 inch brace height like not things people would consider killing deer with but it's awesome because it's set up right tunes so good but anyway uh, so I paid $25 for my broadheads I'm hunting public land I'm using a ba old baby stroller <laughs> as a deer cart and uh, and I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. You know what I mean? And th these aren't huge deer. They're you're, we're on public land, and I mean it's. And I'm in Central Texas. I mean you're 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 asking for a lot. I'm not saying they're eating big deer here because I have some big ones on camera, which kind of blew my mind. Like there's some real good ones. Um, but this is the oldest deer I had on camera, and I was kind of hoping. I was like, man, I wish that deer come back because his jaws messed up and some other stuff. And it looks like I don't think any coyotes or anything got in him last night. So. I know you're waiting to see him, so let's go. Let's go now. But God, I'm, just, I'm super impressed. The deer didn't go anywhere, man. Check it out. Not a huge blood trail, or a lot of blood, but man, I mean, does it matter when they only go like 45 or 50 yards? Check him out. Bam. Pocket rocket, man. He got smoked. Like super smoked. Dude, not bad. Yeah, I'd say there's a little rigor. He died quick. Super pumped though. Super pumped. That's the exit wound right there. Ooh, hear that? Lungs, heart. He had no chance. Um, no chance. Exit wound there. Um, so, bam. We did it. Public Land, Texas 2020. Uh, now, I need to go get the cart. I need to get this deer out of here. Um, I need to field dress him. Uh, it's just awesome, man. Super pumped. Now that we found him, I gotta get this deer tagged. and um, That way we're legal. And then I'm gonna kinda pull him out of here a little ways and field dress him and uh, get uh, not that the guts and stuff bother your spot too much it's just that this is a really neat place it's really close to where they're bedding which is kind of what I had to do because there's so much pressure in here from other hunters um, and other places so I'm squeezed in here real tight to where they're bedding so I'm, I don't want to be super loud that's why I'm going to do this kind of quick I'm going to fill out the tag get him tagged I'm gonna kind of try to load him up and get him out of here a little bit and then field dress him and then go onto the truck. Getting him on here might be a rodeo though. I mean, that's a lot of deer and not very much stroller, you know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> we'll see. But I'm gonna get him tagged up real fast and then uh, we'll get out of here. Okay, so to make matters worse, I cut my finger when I was trying to poke a hole in this deer's ear to put my tag on it because I also forgot a zip tie so I had to cut a piece of strap but anyway this is going to be a fun trying to wrestle this deer up here and then strap him down so we'll see what happens I think if I lay it down and then slide him on there and then stand up maybe the easiest way we'll see
isn't so bad. We're gonna have to. Strap him up here. <laughs> All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought, but we're not done. I'm gonna have to do this another time after I field dress him. Fun, right? Come on, finger. Quit bleeding. So ratchet straps got just enough. Bam. Now for number two. Seat belt this dude in there. Deer Stroller 3000, man. Looks like it's gonna work awesome. Now, let's let me quit being a loudmouth. Let's get out of here. Okay, so, on my way out, like 50 yards into my exit, the front wheel broke off of my three-wheel stroller. Excuse me. Deer cart, deer stroller 3000. Well, now it's like a deer stroller 150. Like losing the front wheel was a uh, major. <laughs> like it knocked it down a bunch of notches, like 2,850 notches. So, as you can see now, not nearly as cool. Now I've got to balance it and carry the camera and tripod and try to wheel this stupid thing out of here through all this thick brush oh boy so I'm gonna shed I'm gonna shed some clothes real quick because I am melting all of a sudden got my sweet Vortex Optics Superman shirt 
I'm gonna need to channel some of that inner Superman for this little escape. Get everything out of these pockets. All right. Let's get back oranged up because we gotta have our orange on. Even though we're not hunting, even when you're scouting in here and stuff, you gotta have your orange on. Um, I get serious. I had to put the hat on backwards. But you gotta have your orange on, man. It's public land. You don't know who's in here, what they're doing, or whatever. So you still gotta wear your orange. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna muscle up and get this dude out of here. You may not get any video till we get back to the truck because this is going to be a beating um, with how this cart is. But it's better than dragging the damn thing on the ground. So away we go. Going to muscle up a little bit. Well, we made it back. What a beating. That was like the best and worst two hours I've had in a long time. Great because we recovered the deer. He didn't go far. It was awesome. But the stroller is definitely not made for a mature buck, even in Central Texas. It was only slightly better than dragging it out on the ground. The tires kind of went flat. The frame was buckling. I had to balance it bent over. It was miserable. Now I'm going to try to load this dude in the back of the truck by myself, which I could probably do that. It's going to take me some rope and a little grunt. If I throw up, don't hold it against me. Just out of shape. Time to load up and let's get out of here. I'm gonna drive this dude back to the boys and uh, they should be super pumped, man. They were excited for me last night. Uh, when I get home, we're gonna butcher him up ourselves and probably make some jerky and go from there. But uh, either way, it's been so much fun, man. I, I'm really enjoying hunting on the public land and, and uh, just kind of going back to my roots, man. I mean, it's just, it's as fun as it gets. You never know what's gonna show up. And um, maybe that's what I love about it so much is it kind of reminds me of all the things that used to draw me outside when I was a kid, man. And it was the, the unknown, the exploration, the going and just being in nature, man. And, and learning new stuff every day. It really doesn't get any better, man. This is the, one of the best things you can do with your time. I mean, if you're not working or, uh, doing something that you absolutely have to do man get outside even like this i'm exhausted i'm beat but i've had so much fun even today man going and recovering this buck he's a cool old deer man he's super wide just to neat you know and to know that we did all this on public land in texas uh it's just super fun man it's something that everybody can go do you just gotta want to do it you know so i'm gonna get in the truck catch my breath and head to the house later